hello welcome back to my channel where we look at different products and review them. These two are from AliExpress and they are portable pH TDS meter tester measuring to water quality. I ordered them in one set, the yellow one is pH tester. You can remove the cap and put a lower part into the water and test your drinking water. The other one, which for some reason is in a leather case, is TDS meter. So what is pH and TDS and why do you need to test them? A TDS meter indicates the total dissolved solids. The concentration of dissolved solid particles such as salts and minerals. A TDS range from 50 to 150 is the best for drinking. If water has TDS level above 500 ppm, then you should use some kind of purifier. The TDS level recommended by World Health Organization is however 300 ppm. This portable digital TDS meter tester can measure your water purity. The yellow tester pH is measurement of the acidity or alkalinity of a solution like coffee, water or blood. The pH scale usually range from 0 to 14. The human body is built to naturally maintain a healthy balance of acidity and alkalinity. The lungs and kidneys play a key role in this progress. A normal blood pH level is 7.4. The ideal pH level for drinking water should be between 6 to 8.5 and you can test it with this pH meter tester. So this pH tester is for testing the water that you drink in daily basis, like your tap water. If you are thinking that your water is tasting weird or not sure about the right pH or just curious what is your tap water pH or you are used to buy bottled water every day for drinking, then you can test the tap water to see what is the difference and maybe the variation between those two waters are non-existence, then you don't need to spend your money on a bottled water and save the environment. I personally bought this pH TDS portable meter testers for my orchid collection. I grow my orchids in semi-hydroponics. Means the plants are potted using Leca clay pellets. The Leca holds water and hydrates the plant roots. The roots are allowed plenty of air circulation because Leca doesn't compact and the water will sit there in the orchid pot for weeks, so I wanted to know how much minerals, salt buildup and other particles is in the water. Houston Orchid Association posted on their website an information that recommends no more than 200 ppm TDS. So what is my TDS level and how much is it going to change when I add the fertilization and so on. And the same thing is for pH in the water. For most plants the optimal pH range is from 5.5 to 7. But some plants will grow more acid soil or may require a more alkaline level. Usually the pH level of water used to grow orchids can vary from 4 to 7.5. The optimal pH level should be between 5.5 and 6.5. So, if you want to know do your plants like the water you are giving them, then you should test the water. So that's why I personally bought these testers. I just put it into the water that is under temperature of 25. It is easy to use. Simply immerge the pH meter electrode in the solution to be tested. Readings are quickly displayed on a large LCD display. Ideal measurement for any aquarium, the fishing industry, swimming pools, spa, school laboratories, 
food and beverage, drinking water and so on. Future scene built calibration with two puffer powers. Just press a button to finish the calibration. This pH meter is factory calibrated. Users can use it directly. Fast and accurate results. No need to work with those annoying color charts and test strips. Pocket fitting pH meter that is also lightweight and compact. Total concealed fit in your bag or pocket for easy, casual carrying. I am happy with these testers. Two of them cost under 10 euros. If you also want to buy it for yourself or as a gift, then go to AliExpress. Link is in the description under the video. I didn't have any problems with this seller. That is it. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.